What's poppin', UJ Overwatch fans? We've got a banger of a game coming out today. It's going to be, obviously, UJ uh, against Mizzou, a team that we've played a few times in the past, and it's always been pretty relatively close. Uh, so it should be very, very fun to watch. Uh, it's obviously me, your boy, Clicky. Joining me today uh, is Mr. Charlos himself. How are you doing, UJ? Charlos? I'm doing great today. I'm ready to watch some UJ Overwatch. I just love watching this game. It's probably one of my favorite first-person shooter games to watch. Just the pace of the game and just all of the, like, Movement and animation is just great enjoyment. Mm -hmm. I would agree. I mean, sometimes it can get a little hectic. You, know, you don't know exactly what's going on all of the time if you're not super familiar with the game. But even then, it's still fun to watch. Still some pretty colors and stuff. Oh, fights popping out immediately. Is that yep. a ball off the stage? Yep. He did get booped by Mr. Forehead himself. Paste got pasted. Right off the stage. I didn't even notice that you said stage. What do you, what do we, do we just call it a map? Well, this? yeah, a map, okay. yeah. Sorry, I, I almost smashed Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Rob Trick. But it looks like UJ is going to win the first fight, so that's a big deal getting initial control of the point. And UJ can afford to just play relatively passively now. Uh, it looks like Raggy on the side of Mizzou is going to be poking out Gengar just a little bit. Waiting for him to use Flash like he just used there. And now Gengar is a little bit more diveable from that Tracer. That being said, Gengar's nuts and just dommed yeah, on Raggy. She... So... I just don't think Gengar, like, knows what missing a shot is. No, his his aim is ridiculous. Like, I, I've roomed with the man. I've seen him play just regular video games. And he's just insane not competing she... as he is competing. It's ridiculous. Let's watch him. Forehead action. Some good Lucio work. And here we want to see him amp speed. Forehead was actually telling me uh, Lucio is one of the, one of the more entertaining people, for your point of view. Yes, I I would agree. Lucio is definitely pretty entertaining because he he can just uh, he, he can Reddit is what we typically call it. Uh, so like you just go into their back line and and start doing damage and and just pestering people um which typically isn't what a support should be doing but you can do it just because lucio is so incredibly mobile trying to demech jaggermeister there luckily he is going to get that mega so uh mizzou isn't going to get the demech onto him I, I apologize if you guys hear me chewing at all. I I am uh, chowing down on a quesarito while casting. You know, multi-talented. Talented eating quesaritos and casting Overwatch. Ooh, real close from Weddle there. Luckily, did not go down to the uh, to the bomb. Oh, it's a massive stun from uh, from Gengar as well. So UJ is going to be up two players. It's one now. Weddle just standing there with the hammer waiting for someone to come yeah, towards they, him. Yeah, they just didn't contest point. UJ just got free point. That's a big shatter because that's off the map. Yeah, he's massive. He's too good. Gengar Weddle gets the dead eye kill onto Jazza. Ja Jazza? Jazza. And it looks like Weddle is just going to be holding his shield on point. Going to be pressing the Zenyatta. Zenyatta uh, doesn't have movement abilities. So he just gets to back up while being swung on, and, uh, well, he's not going to get too far. Unfortunately, though, uh, Mizzou did reclaim control of the point, so Jaggermeister is going to have to touch to try and contest. He's going to rip bomb, but it's not going to do anything other than get the Briggs shield. Uh, it's going to be beat ripped by forehead. Let's see if it can be enough, though. Uh, Pace is going to be ripping his minefield as well. So lots of ults coming out. Uh, Linguini using his trance as well. So just lots and lots of, uh, well, chaos, really. Unfortunately, it looks like first point is going to be going to Mizzou. Uh, first round, rather. Um, 
with that being said, still pretty relatively well played from UJ. Um, I didn't see a whole lot that went wrong. Um, that being said, it did seem like some fights were won, and then UJ just couldn't finish the fight, yeah. I guess. I thought it really seemed like most of the control that Mizua had was just at the one time they got like 60, 70% just in one stretch. Yeah, and I mean, you, you see that happen sometimes. Um, yeah, it's not super unusual, but um, yeah, just a, a little unfortunate for UJ. Hopefully they can uh, they can regroup, think about what went right, what went wrong, and go from there. Weddle coming in with the ball. We do like Weddle on the ball. Weddle's ball... Very nice. It's big. So you're wow, that positioning is actually just insane yes, up on it, that tower. It, yes, it's very nice. Because uh, you can poke people and... Not... Oh, some big ball swings? Yeah. Oh, uh, he oh, is just... going to be inting a little bit, though, which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, his team just wasn't quite there behind him yep, on that engage. And the weird part is I feel like he knew that, and he still went in, so it's a little questionable. Um... Because, you know, slamming directly onto a brig, you know you're going to get stunned. So, yeah, a little questionable from Weddle. That being said, neither team has gotten control of the point yet. Uh, Mizzou is up a player. Weddle is back Well, in. yeah, Weddle's back. So Mizzou is now actually down a player. Um, Mizzou down two. Yeah. Fraggy is going to pick up quick kill, but he's probably going to die relatively quickly now. Still no point control from either team. Forcing the recall from the Tracer, that's a big deal, especially because that Tracer didn't heal any from the recall, so she has to go over and pick up the Mega. Uh, so you saw her rotate the high ground. Now is going to be getting pretty low. He's not going to be popping bomb, though, so he's probably going to die relatively soon. And as uh, you say that, he does die. Yep. Um, and it looks like that's just going to be, finally, uh, first control of the point for yeah, Mizzou. Yeah, it took quite a while. Yeah, that was a very, very long first fight. Gengar trying to uh, assassinate the Zenyatta. Didn't quite find it, but also didn't die. So, I mean, we take those. Gengar does have Pulse, too, so I'm anxious to see who he deems a, a viable target to stick. Is Pulse his ultimate? Yes. Uh, so it's a 500 damage bomb. That can stick onto enemies. Oh, or, or that's walls, pretty strong. Or, yeah. Um, yeah, so you can just assassinate basically anyone you want. There's some tanks that don't quite yeah. die, like Ball, Reinhardt, uh, Roadhog. But for the most part... Uh, most people will die. Yeah, it's it's going to kill most characters. Um, unfortunately, he's going to be missing the stick there, so isn't going to find the, uh, the kill. And is going to get killed by Raggy as well. But... Um, yeah, I don't know. A little unfortunate. He was lower health, though, to be fair. I, I don't believe Gengar had teammates oh, with a him. Oh, big ball stun. Mizzou up to 70% already. UJ having yet to claim control of the point at all, and it looks like Mizzou is just going to be sitting up on high ground waiting for UJ to try and contest and they just all drop on them at once. Uh, or, well, not all drop on them. Like, the Zen stays high ground. Um, but basically, everyone else drops. Yeah. Uh, so it looks like uh, Jazza is going to be hinting a little bit. Did kill Quick Kill, but, I mean, in a one-for-one -one trade, I I think I'm fine with losing your soldier for their Echo. I think that's a pretty okay trade. Yeah. Um, Weddle at literally one health. Actually, one health is going to survive. And Weddle's back into the fight. Yep. Overtime already for Mizzou. Weddle taking a lot of damage there. Is Ball good on this uh, map? Because yes. Because he can, like, spin around uh, that central area? Well, not only that, but yes. That's, that's a big reason why. Uh, he's also just so able to abuse... Uh, 
I just, just there's so many grapple spots that he can use. That just have good angles. Uh, yeah, there's there's just so many things that he can do. Uh, to that that really enable his kit, really. Okay. Um, like you saw Weddle, uh, sitting high ground. Um, you saw. You saw him just harassing the enemy team by yeah. grappling wherever he wants, swinging through, slamming, whatever. Uh, it's it's just so free for for Ball on this point. He's so, so hard to kill. Um, speaking of killing, uh, Gengar is going to get outmatched by Raggy's uh, Tracer there. Uh, oh, UJ, big ball. UJ did get up to uh, 31%, but Mizu did reclaim control of the point. So now it looks like it's just Weddle trying to cause as much chaos as he can before dying, yeah, and no. die he does. Oh, that's real and unfortunate. Three down on UJ. This might this might be a game. Yep. Yep, and it looks like that's going to be the first map going to Mizzou. Um, a little unfortunate. Pretty well played from UJ. Um, I mean, I, I don't think UJ can be too upset with... How they were playing. We didn't really see a whole lot that was wrong, really. Um, yeah, I I don't know. It from what we saw, UJ was playing pretty well. Yeah, I think like the only like big thing we saw was just probably that first Weddle engage. Mm -hmm. He was just too far ahead of his team. I think if his team was a few steps up further behind him, it would have been a much better yep. opening and, up. Well, yes and no, because even if his team was with him. He still would have been blown up with what he did because he got stunned by the brig. But, I mean, at least if his team were with him, they could have capitalized on the, you know, one second that it took for Weddle to die while inside their team. But I, I still think it's just strictly wrong to engage there, especially when you know the brig has bash. Like, you, you get bashed, you, you, you're stunned. You're stunned inside of their inside team. Inside of a whole, yeah. I guess I do. You die pretty quick, even at 600. If he pops adaptive shields at like 900, 1,000 HP, you still die pretty quick. So. <laughs> so I'll be interested to see just what UJ pulls out here. Uh, odds are it's just a typical Ryan Zarya comp with a McCree and probably a Hanzo, maybe a May. Um, and then I'd like to see Bap Lucio more than Ana Lucio, but Ana Lucio is still fine. Lucio is necessary. Uh, Bap versus Ana is a little bit more preference. Um, you know, Ana is asleep. She has the, the Bionade. They're all just, her, her kit's so strong, uh, but Bap has, you know, immortality field and he just has so much more raw healing as well. So yeah, it's immediately open it up into a little bit of gunfire. Eh. That'd be worse. It's just Diva's left click. It does, like, negligible damage. So Weddle escorting his team through uh, through the hotel. And he's going to be taking a lot of damage was... there. So a little unfortunate for UJ. A uh, bit of a rough first fight. Let's see if they can clean stuff up a little bit better the second fight here. Um... Maybe, I don't know, just focus the Rhine Shield more, to be honest. It felt like there wasn't enough focusing on the Rhine Shield. There was more damage being split other other ways, and none of it did enough. So Gengar is going to get Flash Man from the left, but it's not going to uh, result in his death, luckily. So, uh, wait a minute. Raggy is on, on BAP now. Weird. Because um, we saw him on DPS last game. Oh. I think. I'm pretty sure. I guess I could be wrong. Um, yeah, it, it, it seems like UJ is just splitting their damage too much when Mizzou is focusing all their damage into the Rhine Shield. Big yeah. Ultimate coming out of Dragon House. Uh, yeah. So it did kill the Kree. Unfortunately, the Kree was able to pop Deadeye, um, and 
he was able to use the Graviton Flux to actually, um, to, to his advantage, because uh, he got that high vantage point because of the Flux. Uh, he had a line of sight on a member of EJ and was able to get the dead eye kill because of it. Uh, which is kind of why, as Sigma, you have to be uh, pretty conscious of a McCree with his ult. Jaggermeister unintentionally overextending just a little bit. I don't I don't even know that it was necessarily overextending. I think that was just a really intelligent play by, uh, by Paste on that Ryan. You know, sitting right around the corner, just punishing anyone from UJ that pushes forward, and that's exactly what happened. It's it's pretty unorthodox, but I I do like it. It's an interesting play. If if you can catch someone out, why not try to do it? Big fire strike from Weddle. He does use shatter, get frozen, and die, unfortunately. So that's just gonna be another reset for UJ. UJ did eventually get control of the point, luckily, but you know, right after Dragonmaster died to the Rhine and then that fight happened. So a little rough for UJ getting things moving now. But it could be worse. Big anti-nade. Yeah. Very, very big anti-nade uh, from Little Snack there. The counter blizzard is going to be coming out from Linguini. Wow, that was a really good blizzard. Mm -hmm. But it looks like UJ might have won that fight. Oh, no, the lamp post. Oh. Oh, that's so sad. He totally could have had that pin on the on the diva too. I don't know if he could have necessarily... Yeah, he probably could have demacked. Because pin does, what, 250? And then a, another swing to 75. Yeah, I want to say she was at like 325-ish. Um... So, Weddle taking a, a bit of an aggressive position here. Uh, potentially trying to catch Mizzou off guard. Um, but it looks like there's just going to be a Deadeye and a counter Deadeye. Big pin from Weddle. Uh, oh, the, yeah, the, the ammo did exist, which was a little unfortunate. So, he didn't quite get the kill off of it. But he did set them to one. The second that ammo died, uh, so did the person that was at one. So... Finally, a big, big man shatter, but not a lot to follow up with, unfortunately. Very, very intelligent diva play uh, by Clairvoyant there, able to boop Weddle back, prevent the pin uh, into uh, towards UJ spawn, um, take their run out of the fight. Uh, so yeah, just just really, really nice booster boop from Clairvoyant. Weddle there. just in here, just yeah. still living. He, How? He, he's very low. But he's not dead yet. Excellent support play. Just supporting you. <laughs> he, uh, yeah, Weddle, I, just keeping him alive. Mm -hmm. I saw he went down to 9 HP. Yeah, he, he was very, very low. There have been lots of times when he's been very low this series. But hasn't quite died. So, I mean, you love to see it. I mean, we you don't love to see him be that low. But you, you love to see him not die. die. Yeah. Did get swung on once. Aggermeister just doing lots of damage. Going to be ripping the the Flux there. That's going to be a big kill onto big. the BAP. That's a massive kill. UJ is also going to cap second point uh, because Mizzou wasn't quite able to contest. So that's a really big deal as well. So now there's a Baby Diva behind that is going to die. Yep, and that's a really big deal because now Mizzou either has to take a 5v6 to, to stall or they have to give UJ another yeah. 10 meters of cart pushing. And it looks like they're going to go for the extra 10 meters strategy. Probably wise. <laughs> Very wise. Because yeah, if they lose that fight, I think they just lose the, the round overall. Yes. So it looks like there's going to be lots of ults used by Mizzou. And UJ is just going to be resetting. You see three of UJ's members jump off the map. And that is absolutely the correct play there. Um, just because, you know, you don't want to be giving Mizzou any more ult shards than you have to. Yeah. And you know the fight's lost, so might as well jump off the map. So UJ is going to be going into this fight 
with quite a bit of ult economy. You're going to see Weddle with Shatter, uh, Gengar quite close to Deadeye, little snack with Nano as well. So we could see uh, the Nano on the Rhine. We could see an Electric Cowboy coming out. Um, and we are going to see the Nano on the Rhine. So uh, Pace is going to be ripping a Shatter and isn't going to quite get a whole lot with it. So now we see Weddle up in there like swimwear, dying. <laughs> and <laughs> uh, yeah, I, what happened? Like he, he was so in there. UJ was doing so much damage. Looks like it was just a one for one trade. Well yeah, Jazza, what, but what happened? I just lack of target focus is, is my my guess. So he is going to get only the diva with the flux, which is a little unfortunate. That being said, demacking the diva still matters. Yeah. Uh, Jaggermeister is going to get domed by Mr. Hanzo there, and it's That's... probably just going to be as far as UJ gets it. Because, uh, yeah, a recontest here is pretty impossible. Yep. Like, you, you go and you die. Recontesting doesn't matter. A little unfortunate there for Jaggermeister, but uh, again, doesn't it matter. It, it wouldn't have mattered. Um, yeah. I I think I would like to see Quick Kill swap off of the May. I think that's the issue. UJ just doesn't have enough damage. I want to see him on the Hanzo. I want to see him on like a Symmetra, something like that. Something where he's doing a considerable amount of damage, and May just isn't that character. It doesn't look like UJ really wants that utility right now of the wall. And I mean... Blizzard's a really strong ultimate, but it doesn't seem like UJ is getting a whole lot out of yeah. Blizzards, especially when uh, when Mizzou has their own May, they have their own Blizzard, and they just counter Blizzard. So, yeah, M Mizzou seems to be doing just a little bit more damage uh, because of the BAP versus the Ana, and I think that's the, the issue. Yeah, I... I, I want yeah I want to see a Hanzo I want to see Quick Kill on Hanzo, not May. Hanzo's May? The, the bow and arrow. Yes, Han Hanzo is Mister Archer. Mister Archer. Um, yeah, we UJ just needs more damage. They don't necessarily need a May wall right now, and May wall, like May wall's good. I I definitely agree with that. But if UJ can't kill stuff that's walled off, yeah, it's you, not doing any good. If you're not able to capitalize off of your, yeah off of someone else's kit, exactly, just, it's just not doing anything. So I, I want to see a Hanzo instead of the May here. Like, May May's good. She puts up the Ice Wall, like, in the choke here, especially. It doesn't look like Quick Kill is going for that. He's just going for damage, which also seems kind of questionable. But, uh, yeah, a, a bit of a weird wall from both sides, really. Um, Weddle is going to be gunned down by the Hanzo. Gengar is going to pick up the ammo, but it doesn't look like that's going to matter a whole lot. It's probably just going to be a lost fight for UJ. That being said, Gengar is kind of nuts. Kind of just hitting shots he's, like he does. He, he's just but killing he things. Yeah! Hammer! Woo! Big hammer swings. Ah, oh, He also has a big hammer. Yeah, I, again, I, I think that's another scenario where Maywall doesn't matter. UJ would just much rather have more damage, yeah. whether that be Symmetra or Hanzo or a Torbjorn even. Just set up turret on an off angle so they can't push through. Set it up by, like, this the stairs to the right of Choke from the attacker's perspective and just make it so it's really, really hard for them to push. Yeah, May, Maywall isn't doing enough right now, and Blizzard isn't going to matter. Linguini does also have Blizzard, uh, whereas Quick Kill is only at 62%. So, yeah, it's not seeming to matter a, a whole lot. So, UJ Hammer's was. Just swinging around. Yeah. You know, if, if you. Oh, he's Brawlic! He's, he's Chatified! You, you you know that meme of like the the blonde Chad? Yeah, that's just Weddle. That's just Weddle? That's just Weddle. He's just oh. better. He's blonde and a Chad. Yeah, I guess so. Only he had a beard. Weddle, get a beard. A Lamau. 
I don't think I could see Weddle with a nah. big chin. I mean, it, it would probably look good on him. It would. I just I don't see Like, yeah, it, it's just it's unusual. Oh, that's a massive pin onto Paste. And Weddle is going to be getting out of there alive. So that's a really big deal. Very big ult uh, from uh, from Jazza there, able to separate so much of UJ. Um, but I'm not sure it's necessarily going to matter. Really, really big uh, flash, though, from uh, from Gengar. And freezing the Rhyme there isn't going to matter. Okay, we, you'll love to see it. Um, yeah, and you just just cleaning up. You just stalling very, very yeah. well. Weddle is is also just being enabled really, really hard. As I say that, he dies, but he's still being enabled super hard, and it's showing. Like when you let that man swing on people, he'll be doing a lot of damage. And so. he just they have such a hard time killing him. Exactly, he just gets to hang out and just swing a hammer for it almost seems like a minute. Yes, exactly. He's he's just so so hard to deal with. Um, you know, 75 damage a swing, you nano him, he, he's almost two-tapping people, uh, that's, oh, what is it, oh. it's, what's, what's half of 75, 37.5, yeah, so, so yeah, you nano Ryan and he's two-tapping squishies. Yeah, that's, that's Which, a lot. Yeah, that's lots of damage. Bit of an interesting, uh, Ryan surf there. As it is eventually going to be going down to Mr. Forehead's right click. And UJ has some pretty solid ult economy right now. That being said, so does uh, Mizzou. Mizzou actually has one more ult than UJ does. But, um, yep, that's uh, a, actually a sad miscommunication from Mizzou's part uh, because you saw their May wall go up. Um, oh, Gengar with the two piece yeah. on the Deadeye. Massive Weddle ripping shatter and just cleaning up the rest. Very, very big. Um, but like I was saying, you saw uh, Paste rip his shatter uh, right as Linguini put up his Maywall. Um, and yeah, it, it's it happens so much more often than you would like to believe, which is odd because it doesn't necessarily seem like they do the same thing. Yeah. But uh, there's situations where you shatter defensively, and in that case, Maywall and shatter are doing the same thing. The same, yeah, they're, they're both protecting your team. Jagermeister's going to be demacked. Is it going to be staggered too hard, which is nice? UJ might get the recontest. Is it possible? Ah, I wouldn't push it. Actually, I don't even know if he could get there. Yeah, he might have been able to get there. Yeah, uh, Mizzou is going to cap second point, so now they only have to cap uh, half of third. They're going to be ripping BAP window. Uh, actually, a very big wall, though, from uh, from Quick Kill there, able to isolate the Rhine, and UJ was actually able to capitalize on it that time. Um, even though yeah, full the... Yeah, team kill on uh, UJ here. Mm -hmm. uh, even though the lamp came down from, uh, from Raggy, uh, UJ, I I assume they just called it out. They focused the the lamp, and they they were able to to capitalize on that wall really hard. Um, because that's that's one thing about uh the mirrored Rhine comps, especially on uh on Kings, is uh Bap definitely counters um counters May a little bit just because you know. May puts up the ice wall, tries to isolate targets, uh, but Bap basically just says, "No, I'm making my teammates immortal. You can't do that." Yeah, I guess that would be quite a good counter. So then, at that point, you're kind of you kind of just have less damage because you have May because the util doesn't matter. Raggy going to be going down to Gengar's dead eye. Unfortunately, that is going to be the second map for Mizzou.
So again, I think Yuji's been playing pretty well. Um, I, I'm just not a huge fan of the May here, especially when damage matters the way that it has been. Normally, I'm pretty okay with the May. I understand May is like really good on Kings, but at the same time, when her kit isn't mattering, why have less damage? You know, I I want someone that can More accidentally one tap damage. a squishy like Hanzo. Yeah. You know. Is Hanzo just like if they hit headshots, so they're just done? Yeah, if you hit a fully charged uh, headshot on someone that is 250 HP or less, they die. Oh, yeah, that's fair and balanced. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's it's been a hot topic for quite a while. But, um, yeah, like, I, I would much rather have that on my team and, you know, Storm Arrow, which is just dumping damage into a shield, just winning that shield break war. Um than having the freeze for May. Because, like, we saw times when Quick Kill, like, froze a Ryan or a D.Va or something like that, and, and it did win them the fight. But at the same time, I think if UJ just had more damage, it also would have won them the fight. So, I mean, can I say anything for certain? No. But I can speculate, and I can act like I'm better than them. Well, yeah. <laughs> Your brain, your brain's. I mean, my brain is turbo. I do have turbo brain. Ah, good quesarito. Yeah, you've been munching on that quesarito for quite a while. Well, I've just been talking nonstop for the past half an hour. I guess it does make it hard to eat. Yeah. Trying to not get nacho cheese on anything. Angel of the Fallen saying hello on this wonderful Monday. Yeah, I've been there for like half an hour. I just didn't have time to respond. I. Just don't usually read chat. It's like very far away from me to read chat. That's so fair. Got to like focus my eyes, you know, to see that far. Mm-hmm. I could just look at the screen in front of me. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I would be talking, but I'm chewing on a quesarito, and it's rude to talk with your mouth full. Well, they don't know your mouth full. Only that, I would. That, that's true. You guys can't tell that my mouth full by how it sounds, right? Not at all. Yeah. Does Quick Kill stay on the, on the Widow? Let's see. No. There's the Hanzo. I would have liked to have seen that last game, but at least he's whipping it out this game. Especially because May isn't super great on Havana. There, there just aren't enough tight corridors yeah. for her wall to be as effective. Looks like a much more open map. Yes. So Gengar is immediately going to be going on the flank. Uh, UJ is just going to be pushing cart for free right now because Mizu did not opt for the hold spawn doors strat. Gengar is going to be discorded, but nothing is going to come of it. Jazza is going to be picking up quick kill, though. Oh, Gengar with a lot of big shots off onto Ball. <laughs> Gengar just realizing that the fight is lost, resetting with his team, just so he doesn't accidentally get caught out uh, before the next fight starts and costs his team, you know, an extra 20 seconds. So Gengar are going to be swapping to the Widow, which with the way that Mizu is holding this, I definitely uh, would agree with. His Tracer just wasn't getting a whole lot of value. How cracked is Gengar's Widow? It's pretty good. I mean, tracking is less good from it's him, but his flicks one. are insane. And Widow is not a tracking character. It is a flicking character. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, he already dropped uh, one person with Widow. So. Yeah, he he just he just clicks heads. A little unfortunate there that uh, that the brig bashed across. I mean, that's just objectively correct from the brig's perspective. So Gengar gonna be trying to zone as best he can. 
Now, can Ball be headshot? Uh, not when he's in ball form, but when okay. he is in, like, the normal walking form, yes. It's kind of hard to hit. Like, I I definitely... Oh, I, I definitely don't ever go for headshots on ball regardless of what form he's in. But that being said, you can headshot you can. him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It, like, if, you know, you're McCree, you stun a ball, you can, like, double dink him and do a lot of damage. But, um, I mean, if if... The ball is just, you know, walking, whatever, spraying. His headshot hitbox is so small that it's not just, worthwhile. It's not, it's not worth missing no, shots. No, it's you? not. It's. I would much rather just take a body shot. Ooh! Oh. Linguini getting domed. Oh, come on, Gengar. Come on, Gengar. You don't miss. I, I would sw oh! I would switch from Gengar, but uh, I, I feel like this is probably just the flashiest uh, spectating that we're going to get right now. Or, or just in general, really. Widow's a really flashy character. So. Okay, so the we see that the... Widow backed. We uh, Gengar does not know that because we have, uh, we have neutral spectating. We can see both teams even through walls, uh, but that's not the case for the players. Okay, yeah, I, w I was actually like, I didn't know if no, like, the he, other team he, could see no, see the blue outlines. No. Nope. So UJ still having yet to cap first point, uh, but they are finally with like thirteen seconds remaining going to cap it. So I mean. Bit of a long first point, but it's a little bit steady. Mm, but we we got there. That's all that really matters. We'd like to have more time, but it's better to have less time and cap first than not cap first at all. So Gengar just playing as far back as he can, really enabling you know the the sniper esqueness of Widow, and now he can see that tracer through walls. Oh. Because Widowmaker's ult is just wall hacks. It's like it's literally just wall hacks. So, yep, that was a nice shot onto the tracer. Um, now, as long as he doesn't get picked up by the ball, um, he'll probably be fine. Forehead does get uh, picked off by Jazza, and Jazza's also going to win the duel against his counterpart, Gengar. So now it's... Yeah, it's just a lost fight for UJ. Uh, a bit of an unfortunate first pick there on the forehead. Um, but, ooh! Ooh, okay. You know, yeah, I, I can respect it. Yeah. Jazza just asserting that Jazza just said his that widow's better. Oh, Gengar having none of it, swapping back. Uh, okay, that that one I'm blaming Quick Kill because he should have known where Jazza was. Um... Ooh. Okay, maybe Jazza is just better. Maybe that Jazza just... Yeah, maybe Jazza just nuts. Yeah, just just has, like, human cheat codes. Yeah. Maybe he, he like, was an athlete in high school or something. <laughs> Does that make for human cheat codes? Uh, so, it... Recently, we've come to the realization that people that did sports in high school and were good at sports in high school are also better at video games. Oh, which I, I don't know I don't know if that's like actually true, but it's true for Maybe our it's friend like, group. It brings just like the competitive nature. I I think it's like the way that you learn and improve because you know you had to improve to be good at the sports yeah. in the first place. So I think it's the way that you learn to improve and like knowing to like it, grind through practices and stuff. Yeah, and and just like realizing where your mistakes are and how to how to correct them, and then just having the raw hand eye coordination as well. Oh. So no misinputs. Jagger, Jaggermeister gonna be yes exactly. Jaggermeister gonna be ripping flux. Clairvoyant isn't going to be going anywhere though because uh, Linguini is gonna be ripping his trance. Jaggermeister down to 29 HP and is going to die. Forehead is going to be respawning with trance, but unfortunately it's just a few percentage points too late, um, and that's gonna be 
UJ's attack, which is really unfortunate because they did not get it very far. Yeah. So UJ probably is just going to be going with the hold the spawn doors strat because they can't let Mizzou push yeah, at they, all. They just can't afford they have to, to have shut Mizzou them out push. In the beginning and just keep them shut up the whole time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we I think the UJ needs to somehow answer Jazza. That is Yeah, and I mean I don't think that Jazza is necessarily like playing out of his mind or anything like that. He he's obviously yeah. playing very well. I'm he's not playing, saying he's truly. not. But um I I think there's just not there, there's miscommunication on some end as for where he is because we saw a few different instances where he picked people on UJ, yeah, and they were just unaware that he was there. Which I feel like the callouts were made that he was there. I'd be pretty surprised if they weren't. So at that point, it's just on whoever's dying for not hearing them. Which on one hand, like I can understand, things get really really hectic. And yeah, I've been in the room during comps. Before. Yeah, it's just like some noise. sometimes you just miss things. I understand. But on the other hand, you can't be missing crucial comms like that. So, yep, I was right. It looks like UJ is going to be on the hold the spawn door strat. And this is one instance where I do really like the May, uh, just because uh, you're you're able to wall a, a lot more... How, how do I put this? There's way more walls that you can do other than just, like... Hey, Whoa. we're we're gonna <laughs> cut off this one yeah. route. Like it, you can, you can position your wall so many different ways to do so many different things. But it looks like UJ is just going to be losing the fight. Did stall a little bit, but um, not really gonna be doing a whole lot. I'd like to see quick kill swap off the May because the May's not doing anything now. I'm not sure it's going to happen, unfortunately, because we did, uh, we did see him overstay his welcome on May, uh, a little bit, on King's Row. Uh, Raggy doming, a little snack as well, a little unfortunate. Like, like I was explaining earlier, one shot headshot, fun and balanced. Fair and balanced. Yeah, we we've also made the correlation that uh, the dumber you are, the better you are at Hanzo. Uh, okay. So like so Dolan, be pretty good. Dolan very good at Hanzo. Okay. Not a surprise there. No, like, unironically, he's pretty good at Hanzo. Um, Jazza is going to be finishing off his counterpart, uh, and that's probably just a one fight for Mizzou again. And Mizzou is going to be having a lot of time. Um, yes, Rolsey, it is first to three. Uh, you'll, you'll hear it in two minutes. Uh, I it, it's me Gus. I'm I'm not sure if you were trolling saying uh I didn't sound like I was chewing or not. Um but if I actually didn't sound like I was chewing, poggers. Also, <laughs> Rolsey with the prime sub, he's gaming, he's a gamer, he's he's just nuts. Oh, subbing. Raggy getting getting Mr. Big Man ult. Yeah, that's that's so hard to deal with. The the flux into the drag is just unbeatable there. Because it, it, well, Flux is doing basically the same thing yeah. that Zarya's grab is. Okay. Because, you know, they're not really getting lifted up any when they're in that tight of a corridor. Um, and then the dragon comes through and it's dealing 150 to 300 damage based on where you are in the dragon. The middle is 300, the edges okay. are 150. Yeah, so uh, but, just... but per second, that's a lot of damage. That, yeah, that... Yep, so there, there's the flux. Weddle did get out of it with his gold. I mean, really, like, only, him, you but... can only, even tanks can only sit in the dragon for two seconds. Yeah. At most. Yeah, exactly. And and then there's the flux damage on top of that, uh, which totals, I want to say it's 50% of their health. It might be a little bit more than that. Uh, so 25 up, 25 down. So, yeah, it's, yeah. That was, it was just really rough for UJ. Um, Definitely a few points to Vaude review. Overall, I don't think they played poorly. I think there were just a few small issues that really got accentuated um, by Mizzou exploiting them, really. Um, you know, you, we, we saw their, their widow time and time again getting picks that she probably shouldn't have because UJ just 
wasn't aware. Um, and then the the issue of not having enough damage in that shield break war, especially on Kings, a little bit less on uh, on Havana there. Uh, but yeah, I I think it'll be good VOD review. But UJ also played pretty well on top of it. So 3-0, but it doesn't exactly show how close it really was. Yeah. I think coming up soon is Valorant, if you're sticking around on stream. Uh, yes. So that is... 45 minutes? Uh, that's at 8.30, not 7.30. Oh, okay. So, yep, An hour they, and 45 minutes? Yep. So they, they being the viewers, you guys. You guys are they. Uh, you guys have a little bit of time... To, Go get a snack. Yeah, do whatever you need to. Um, uh, if you guys haven't eaten supper yet, you sh should, should probably go do that. Um, do some homework if you're a student, or yeah. maybe maybe if you're not a student, you have like taxes to file or something. Yeah, I don't know. I don't taxes. know what adults do. Tax evasion. Uh, yeah, not cool. yeah, yeah. Well, no, tax evasion is pretty cool. It, it's it's only just ask Ludwig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he actually evading taxes? Well, it was or, like a big meme because like he didn't oh. know that you had to like file taxes for like your Twitch money. Oh yeah. But it was like when you first started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. like not like recently. Okay, now yeah. he's a professional at it. Okay. It was like his like first couple years when he made like actual like money. Yeah, that's funny. Um, but yeah, so you guys have uh, a little less than two hours until Valorant starts, um, and it's actually going to be uh, a lot of Valorant subs tonight because uh, so the team that we're playing tonight lost to the team that we beat first round and then called that we were cheating, so we beat them a second time with a, a joke comp. Yeah, we, like, uh, yes. flashbang someone for, like, 20 seconds. Yeah, it was, like, a 17-second flash chain. Um, but, yeah, so if, if they're worse than that team, then I think we can afford to put our uh, s some of our B team members in. Let's keep good experience for them, too. Yes, exactly. They, they would be getting competitive experience which is nice to have um other than that uh oh and we we do also have overwatch orange um at nine thirty. so if you guys are willing to stay up that late um and assuming the valorant game also doesn't run into that time slot um there's going to be that as well so there's yeah there's a lot going to be streamed tonight but that's going to be it for your boys Clicky and Charlos, um, uh, who it's um, Pot of Greed and um, Quick Kill that are going to be casting Valorant at 8.30, uh, and then Weddell, who we just saw, um, is going to be casting Overwatch at 9.30. So, yeah, lots, uh, lots more to come. Lots of action on Mondays here. Yes, absolutely. And if you guys do want to be watching stuff uh, produced by, uh, is ours truly a thing? Like, like yeah. you, you say, you, you say yours. Is, I, I guess you could say co ours. Collectively, true. produced by us. Um, <laughs> uh, there are some VODs on Twitch of the streams over the weekend. There's going to be uh, some Super Smash Bros. Inter, uh, interspliced with um with some hearthstone Heart action so if you guys care about either of those you can check that out while you're waiting watch a little bit of uh clicky's uh, hearthstone big brain oh gameplay. i i was schmoving i was playing so well i played so well i mean i i didn't qualify for top eight but like i don't think there's anything i could have done differently like how, I, close, I, how close to top eight were you uh i was somewhere nine through 13 okay so i was very, very close good. um because I, I know at the end of round five, I was 13th um, with a three and two record. Um, then I won my next one. So, you know, four and two. And so anyone with an equal record to me couldn't be higher than me because of tiebreakers. Um, and then anyone that ha that was four and one and lost could still be above me. So was it like a round um, robin? Uh, it, so, yeah, it, it, was, it was Swiss. So okay. you're always playing someone with the same record as you it was how it worked. So, yeah, somewhere from 9th through 13th. And I think all, all of our Hearthstone team actually played pretty well. Um, we ended up with uh, another player that was 4-2, and two, um, a player that was 3-3, three and three. then I did... I want to say 3-3 three and three for the last one, too. I don't remember how her last game went. I want to say it was 3-3. Three and three. 
Uh, so yeah, I overall, UJ's performance for Hearthstone, pretty solid. Not unhappy with it. Um, good season opener. Yeah, honestly. That's what you like to hear on a season opener, good performance. Yeah. So yeah, if, if you guys want to check that out, uh, like we said, Super Smash Bros. ended spliced with Hearthstone uh, in the downtime between Smash games. So if you're bored, you can check that out before 8.30. Um, with that being said, uh, that's going to be it for us. Don't forget to follow and subscribe like Mr. Rollsy in chat. Um, we love you. We cherish you. Four months subbed. Honestly, he's kind of insane. Big gamer moves. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's going to be it for your boys. Uh, so uh, say hi to Quick Kill and Pot of Greed for us at 830. Uh, and have a good hour and a half-ish until then.